Hey everyone, it's me, Sean again. Um, today I'm going to do my web video update on something that I came across at a meeting this week. Um, I don't know if many of you have heard or not, but there's a vaccine trial going on up at Case Western University in Cleveland, and it's called HVTN505. Um, I'll put a link at the end of this um, video for you, but um, there's some things about it that people may need to know about. There's some things about it that may not be fully aware for this vaccine. So let's talk about it just a little bit, shall we? Um, this is a vaccine trial. Um, and the reason why that's confusing is because under the assumption that it would create a vaccine from this or would give us more insight on the vaccine, um, the goals of this study are, quote, um, to examine whether this vaccine study reduces the level of the HIV virus in people um, who become infected with HIV during the study. Um, this study is not being done because it's thought that vaccines um, may prevent or reduce the risk of HIV infection for the people. So basically what this is saying is that they don't expect a vaccine from this trial, even though it's titled a vaccine trial. Um, they don't expect a, a vaccine to come from this. They are basically testing people to see how the vaccine works within people and see if they become infected over a period of time. So that's very important to know whenever looking at this study and, and if you're interested in it, you, by all means go for it because everyone needs to be able to, um, to do this. Um, this can, the vaccine will not give you HIV. They do not even implant a um, a whole dead virus in your system. They implant part of a virus in there and that is what is used for the vaccine. Um, just to put this out there, after this is done, this will, be, this will go for another at least five to seven years. Um, and after this is done, they will have to start over on, what, on, what, on the results, analyze the results and see what is said about um, this study. And so that may be take another two or three years, and then they have to start a whole new round of testing if it's not, it's not approved and it's not shown to be as uh, effective as it should be. So for those of you out there who might think that a vaccine for HIV is anywhere on the near future, um, I'm sorry to say that it's not. Um, I've already had people say, isn't it great that vaccines and, you know, on the way, there's promising research. Yes, there's promising research. However, the research will take 10, 15, 20 years before we know anything about it. And so I don't want people thinking that it just because vaccines are being studied that there's going to be one available. So if you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Um, Sean Weibark at catf.net. You can find me on Facebook, anything like that. If you want to have some more questions, and by all means, ask those questions. Um, but always know that the best way to protect yourself is to use a condom. Um, the best way to protect yourself is to know exactly who you're sleeping with and what they bring to the table. Have a conversation with someone. Um, it's the best way to prevent that. So um, I'll see you next time. If you have any questions, you know how to get a hold of me.